Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your August reading. Okay, here we go. I'm once again sitting on the floor. I just love it. And I love it when I'm doing readings. It's so comfortable. It just feels right. So here we are. All right, as I said in the general, when we're looking at the astrology, it's all about the future. It's about babies, pets, deepening whatever connection you're already in, whether it's a permanent connection, a long-term connection, even a casual connection, you're just still bringing it up regardless of even if you just met the person. Hey, wouldn't it be really nice to be content and settled and in love and expanding and growing together? The sense of happiness that you feel in your family life, in your friendship circles, how you feel about yourself, it all feels so good and so right. Now, there's a caveat. This is only if you're not chasing something. And we'll get to what the best way is to not chase something. Because for you to continue with this nine of cups feeling of contentment, which I would like to point out, it's been a long time since you had such a positive card as your first card. One of the things that you can do to help yourself stay in this energy is to think about things in very solid terms. And that may sound crazy to someone you're with if you haven't been with them very long. But you want to go ahead and give them the clearest signals about what your intentions are. And your intentions seem very long term. And I think you should be upfront and honest about that. And if they're not in accordance with what you want, then you know early. The other thing that you can do, the three of pentacles here is a couple who is very well off. As I've often said, the three of pentacles is like a well-oiled machine. It just makes money from itself. The other thing in the three of pentacles is that there is a master craftsman at work. The couple has commissioned him to create a piece of art for them. So for me, that ties beautifully into your astrology, which is a lot about you gaining skill new skill about you finding a way to increase your reach to deepen your craft to open new doors it's all contingent on you sitting down and finding a skill to focus on something that is synergistic with what you already do but make a disciplined effort to follow through on it and find something that you really love. <clears throat> it's very important. There's so much noise. I'm not sure. There's like, I've been looking for whichever phone that is that's going off. I think it's my son's phone, but I can't find it. I have a feeling it's under that couch cushion. And now we have the light playing tricks the sun set four of swords so i would like to talk to you today about a concept called anti-fragility generally this concept is associated with systems and not people but i found it so interesting so let me explain to you first what it is and if you already know what it is forgive me so anti-fragility is the concept that attacks flaws mistakes make a system better. They help the system, in fact, to thrive. And I feel like it's such a positive way for you to look at the things that generally, for, for you to take a second look at the characteristics that perhaps people generally hold against you. So you can easily feel slighted because you're very sensitive and you can feel what people's ulterior motives are. You can then decide to use that as an anti-fragility concept instead of being fragile to it. So instead of being hurt or somewhat broken by what people say and the shade they throw indirectly, you could use it 
as a boon. You could use it as motivation. You could use it to increase your enthusiasm. You could just find it funny that idiots run their mouth, right? So anti-fragility. Now, why do I bring it up? Four of swords, ace of pentacles. And now the sun. And then the six of wands. Let's keep going here. After the six of wands, we have the king of pentacles. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, this is very good news. Ten of cups, it just keeps getting better. The fool, we're gonna go through all these. And the two of cups. So now let me put these down and let's talk about it. So if you are able to take any slights, any weirdness, any thing that your sensitivities pick up on out there, if you are able to turn them into positives, if you are able to turn them into just raw fuel that you can use to go in any direction you wish, you begin to embody this anti-fragility concept, right? Part of that is that money starts to flow in because if you don't have a chip on your shoulder about how you make money, then it's gonna be easier for you to sit down and dispassionately find which skill you should learn next because you're not taking anything personally. It's not insulting to you that you have to learn something. So that's one way. That will, Ace of Pentacles, of course, bring, inshallah, more money in. Now, another way that you can use this is in your communications with people. So if you are very hyper-focused on your home, which you may be as Venus moves into Libra, the middle of the month, then you can use whatever happens in that home environment to bolster you and strengthen you, even if it's things that would generally weaken you, gossip, fighting, upset, tension, none of it can get to you unless you allow it. If you have decided at the beginning of August that anything that gets in your way, anything that upsets you is actually even more fodder for success, then that's what it's going to be because your perception is what controls what happens in your life and it's definitely what controls how you react to things. So a simple example of this is Someone within your home or family is not happy with you or wants more than you can give them. Now you can become suffocated and upset by this concept. You can be, you know, really pressured by it. Or you can choose to see yourself as the strongest person that they could come to, the person they knew who could help them and fix whatever it is. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to fix whatever it is. It's more about just you framing things to yourself or in fact, reframing things to yourself in a way where anything gets turned into a positive and it is for your greater good and for your benefit. The other thing about Libra moving into Venus is that it's just so good for you in terms of all your emotional connections. So we have the 10 of cups here, the fool and the two of cups. I mean, if you are out of practice and you just want to go out there and seduce somebody, this is the month to do it. If you are looking to meet someone new, especially if you are a Cancer rising, this is the month to do it. As much time as you can spend outside, as much time as you can commiserate with others, do it. As much as you can do to make yourself feel confident and beautiful and put together, not like what I'm doing at the moment, do it, okay? Because these things, this new energy, these things that are coming in in August, they require a little bit of effort from you in that you have to open the door and let them in, okay? I often see Cancerians as the one as the ones who have enormous opportunities all piling up behind a door. And they generally don't open that door because they feel too fragile. So if you're armed, you know, if you have this armor of anti-fragility, then it's easier to open the door. If, if you've already decided that there is no fear of what's behind that door, because if it, whether it's opportunity 
or some sort of negative happenstance, it doesn't matter because it's all going to be for your greater good. Once you've seeded that in your mind and you keep telling yourself that, you're going to get to a point where that knowledge is going to work itself into your subconscious. It doesn't happen right away, but it does happen. Often I will refer you to a favorite cancerian of mine, Bob Proctor. So he goes into great detail of how you get things from your conscious mind into your subconscious. And we've spoken about this before. So for you now, this concept, you can work into your back brain. So before you ever get to the door and open it, you already basically know what's behind it because regardless of how it may seem on the surface or regardless of how it may seem to anybody else, you know that it will only help you thrive because you've decided that this is what it is, right? Now, like I said about learning a new skill, there are many of you who have at times felt like your pride was being insulted if somebody told you that you should go back and learn something. And you do have an excess of pride. As cardinal water, you do have a tendency to think you know everything already, which you're not wrong. You do know a lot because you are the most emotionally intelligent, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't stand to benefit from some skill. Education is not something to have an ego about, and it's not something to have pride about. That's very misplaced. As my mother always says, there is nothing that you will learn that will ever be wasted. Even if you're reading the back of a cereal box, even if you're, you know, as a kid, I would often like read the back of products. I would just like sit around and read the back. And I never understood why I was doing it. Now, later in life that helped me tremendously but it's just like one little banal example of what i mean there is never going to be a single thing that you sat down and made an effort to learn that will not come in handy it may not come in handy for a decade it may not come in handy until you inshallah at some point have grandkids or something but knowledge is never wasted so to have a prideful relationship with the idea of learning and education is tantamount to shooting yourself in the foot and you really need to cut it out take your ego out of it and sit and look at things objectively don't take them as any sort of a judgment or comment on you this is not a referendum on you this is you just sitting down and saying, you know, these are the fields that I work in. This particular education would really benefit me. Why don't I just go ahead and do that? I mean, regardless of what kind of business you're running, it would be fabulous to know how to code, for example, right? It's just like one little example. Regardless of what kind of business you're in or what kind of work you do, it would be absolutely fantastic to be able to, I don't know, stitch a wound. Do you know what I mean? Like there are things that you could be learning, learn how to sail, learn how to, there are many, many things that you probably have piled up in your mind that, oh, I really want to do this. I would really like to learn to do this. August is the month to get started. And August also ensures, the astrology ensures that whatever you take the risk to learn now is going to expose you to great people, perhaps even someone very special. It will give you much more security in whatever work you do. But also there is something that happens to you the smarter you get. The more Cancerians learn, the more their natural insecurity and that natural fragility starts to just dissipate because education is an amazing armor. You know, there's very little that you can do to bait someone who knows more than you, right? So if what you're looking for is power, which like I said, Cancerian, right? Cardinal water, power is your thing. There's nothing that's going to give you more power than being the smartest person in the room. Now, you don't have to flex on everybody. You don't always, you shouldn't always be the smartest person in the room. But there is something really great about feeling like you know your shit. Right? So do it. So do it. Whatever you want to learn, this is the perfect time to do it. Now, here's the other thing. Whatever you have going right now in terms of work or business, you have this wonderful three to four week period where you can market the hell out of it. You can rebrand yourself, market yourself, advertise your goods, whatever you're doing, advertise your services, 
and get the most amazing responses because you'll put in you know this much effort and get this much exposure just because that's how your astrology is set up marketing is the best thing that you could be doing in august whatever it is that you do Shout it from the rooftops, take photos, make videos, make reels, make TikToks, make YouTube videos, whatever you want to do, get into doing it now, now, now. It's so important that it's now. One, because if you wait, you're going to procrastinate and it probably won't get done for the rest of the year and that'll just be so sad. And two, there is something magic about either studying marketing or just marketing yourself in August that lights this flame underneath you, this other kind of ambition. Like, hey, I'm actually really good at doing this. I'm actually really good at selling myself or selling my product or selling my services. And I should have been doing this all along. So ideally your income stream, your revenue stream can double at this time if you if you let it if you let it. So a lot of your advantages, a lot of the abundance that comes in has everything to do with a putting aside of ego and being humble enough to know that you don't know everything, right? Now, some of you may even feel like there is a mentor or a teacher in your life that has taught you as much as they can and now you've taken up the mantle where you can be a mentor or a teacher to someone i highly recommend that you do this because i find that the joy that cancerians get from helping others and inspiring others can keep you afloat for a very long time it is really satisfying to your morality and to your conscience to know that there is someone out there that may have been going through something really, really hard and you were able to lessen it. You were able to help them. You were able to teach them something that they didn't know and it made their lives better. This exchange of information gives you so much joy because I think there is a small part of you that wished that you had more people like that around, that people had taught you more, given you more, you know, exposed you to more things, which is why I stress this here, that now you don't have to rely on somebody else to educate you or give you nice things or, you know, take you places to expand your mind. Now you are in control of you. You get to decide when you do those things and if you do those things. And if you're, if you're watching this and you're thinking, yeah, why don't I do those things? Well, then it's time to start. August 1st, you start every day doing one thing on your list that you've been trying to do for yourself for maybe 10 years. Maybe that's learning coding. Maybe that's learning a new language. Maybe that's going to a museum. Maybe that's, it doesn't matter what it is, just as long as you start doing these things for yourself. When this all happens, when all this power is coming in, when you feel, especially if you're learning something new, like you're the shit, it will be so easy for you to look down on other people. It will be so easy to condescend. And if you do so, you can really hurt people's feelings. You can destroy very deep connections just because when that ego pokes out, it's actually kind of unfair because there's so many signs that walk around with this, their ego on their sleeve and like nothing happens to them for it. There's no like karmic blowback for them. Virgo. <laughs> but with you, it's like the second you show a little bit of ego, the universe is there to like smack you, right? And it's like, well, wait a minute. Like, why don't I get a pass? Like other signs get a pass. Why can't I sometimes be not the, you know, most love and light? Why don't I always have to play by the rules and other people get to be as selfish as they want? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because you're the mother of the universe. Maybe it's because you know, cardinal water wouldn't work if you were allowed to be that way. I don't know what it is, but if you start condescending to people, if you start being condescending or looking down on people or being judgy, it's like all the progress you've made and all the good stuff that comes in and you already have it in your hands, it can just slip away. So you really want to be careful. Two more things. Okay. Finally, as is evidenced by the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, the Fool, the Ten of Cups, 
finally, 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 and the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles, finally your money is stable. And it's been so long since your money was stable that this feeling, enjoy it. You've worked hard. You've been saving for months. You've been, you know, dodging expenses here and there and, and really saving for the bad times. And it looks like the bad times are over, but now you have stable money and it's wonderful and you should just keep at it. Enjoy yourself. You can, you know, loosen up a little bit, but remember the habits that brought you to this financial stability and realize when you look inside how much emotional stability that's brought you. Now, speaking of emotional stability, I want to talk to you about mental clarity. King of Wands is the bottom of the deck. Move your body. Move your body, move your body, move your body every day. Move your body every day to maintain your mental clarity. Without your mental clarity, this all starts to fall apart. As soon as you start seeing shadows where there are none, everything falls apart. It's so important for you to keep your peace and your calm. And as much as it may seem counterintuitive to you, your peace and your calm can be found in movement and sweat and, and speed. Speed as in moving fast, not meth. Okay. Love you. So happy for you. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to the second part of your reading. Ooh, happy August 1st. <clears throat> the way my temper is set up today. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I didn't do your reading yesterday, the second part, because I just knew. I just knew. I was like, no. <laughs> no, it's going to get messy. Let's not bring that to the cancer reading. But here we are, August 1st, and my head is still up in flames. And then I did your daily reading, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Cancers are really about that life where they're really standing up for themselves. And that brought me right back to these cards. And I was like, right. Nine of Cups. Whoa. When a Cancerian gets to the Nine of Cups, listen, the other cup comes running all on its own. All you ever needed to do was believe in yourself. All you ever needed to do was get content and right and secure within yourself. Make your surroundings reflect that security and boom. But how could we have known that your fragility would become your most powerful weapon? That you could become anti-fragile, that you could use the faults, the mistakes, the excess of emotion, the pain, the keen sense of obser observation, the being able to tell what other people are thinking, the natural telepathy that you have that can cause you so much pain. How could we have known that in August that would actually all turn into assets and bring you to a place where the first card out is you thriving? Then everything else just comes running. Oh, you want babies? Okay, the right circumstances show up. Oh, you want more pets or new pets or a pet? Oh, the offer just shows up and like drops in your lap. Oh, you want a much more stable romantic foundation? You're looking for the real? There we go, three of pentacles. When you decide, when you truly decide what you want, now for you, here's the difference. A Libra, okay, I'll give you some examples. A Libra will decide what they want and they'll go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? A Gemini will decide what they want, but they also want this and also this and also this and also this, <laughs> okay? A Scorpio will know what they want and then they don't want it because something pissed them off. Cancers know what they want but then they don't know if they're good enough to want it. Am I allowed to want this? Am I good enough to have this? Am I good enough to even ask for it? Most of the time, Cancerians won't even pray for the things that they really want because they feel embarrassed as if they're not allowed to pray for that thing because I have to be more worthy before I can pray for that thing. Well, all of that turns around in August. You start to hold that which other people see in you as a liability, as your greatest strength. You become anti-fragile. 
And once you reach that place of contentment, the thing that's going to blow you away is how deeply you can rest. And the more deep the rest, the more money comes in. Wait, wait a minute. What? Yeah. Because I've told you for years now, your mind is a manifestation machine. When Cancerians know what they want and believe that they're worthy of it, come on. Ace of Pentacles to Ten of Cups, come on. And then the fool says, listen, when you start to get what you want, and I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. I never have people call me after a reading when things are going bad and complain. Never, never, never has it happened. You know why? People are used to being disappointed. People are used to things not working out. But the way the phone starts ringing, when things start to go right, and you would think that these phone calls would be like, oh my God, a bird's going right, I'm so happy. Never. It's sheer terror. When things start to work out for us, the fear we feel is real. It's deep. It's fright. We are frightened by things working out, for, right? So there's the fool. The fool says, please don't do that. When things start to work out, step up. Be even more brave. Ask for even more. Want even more. Defend yourself. Push the bullies back. Don't get scared that things are working out. Keep pushing forward. Keep making it work out. What? By sheer will and belief in yourself alone. You don't need these transits. You don't need these cards. You don't need this astrology. You just need to know that the things you want, not only are you worthy and deserving of them, but they are late. They should have been here already. Oftentimes when I have a client who's dealing with someone that they feel isn't all the way into them, one of the things that I will go like into like great detail on is how to feel it in yourself first. If you're looking for somebody else to make you feel like you belong, you don't belong. You have to feel like you belong and are worthy of where you are. You can't take that cue from somebody else. As soon as you put that power in somebody else's hands, the whole situation malfunctions, not because they don't want you there, but because they have no idea what to do with the power you just gave them. They don't know how to handle that equipment. They don't know the rules. They never read the manual. They've never had what you have. Even if they are another Cancerian, they don't have what you have. The way your ability to manifest is set up is unique. So you make yourself feel like you belong. You make yourself feel, and this goes back to worthiness. This goes back to, do I deserve it? You make yourself the person who doesn't have the questions. It's even a little bit entitled and, I'll, and I'm for it. I'm for it. Also, you have this intense power of seduction. Starting today, it's like everywhere you turn, whatever you say to anybody, they're looking at you, they want you, your DMs are popping, your, your, your phone is definitely not dry. Every time you step out of the house, everybody wants to look at you because you're shining. You know what? This is what you need to understand about people. Everyone is attracted to a winner. When you put yourselves in that winning place, in that winning spot, in that winning vibe, of course everybody's going to come running. That's just the nature of people. You can't get mad at them and be like, well, when I didn't feel well, you know, two months ago or when I was feeling like shit six months ago, where were you? They were staying away from you. They were repelled by your energy. Don't hold that against them. That's not your fault. That's not their fault. That's just what it was. But now don't begrudge them a little shine. They want to they want to partake in your shine. Let them things they've been starving let them let them you want to nest okay you need to develop this anti-fragility because what comes next is bigger than you maybe because you have a baby maybe because you have a pet maybe because you uh, you know adopt maybe because you take on a, a, a sick parent or somebody else's responsibility you need to be unbreakable which is basically what anti fragility is it's bad things make you better and stronger instead of weaker 
right? You need to be that way so you can begin this nesting process. You can focus on your home. You can make it a very welcoming place for whomever you are going to end up taking care of because that's a big theme for you for the rest of the year. You are pouring out this kindness and compassion that is so natural to you, but it can get very twisted when it doesn't have an outlet. So August is a gift because it gives you the outlet to use all this beautiful nurturing energy that you have that when it's not used, it gets twisted. Okay? We want to be the best mom, the universal mom, not Carrie's mom. Okay? If you're too young to know what Carrie is, please don't watch it. You're lucky. Okay. Now, there are also some of you who are going to take this time to finally, finally, finally learn a new skill. Whatever you happen to be doing, it doesn't matter what field you work in, learning a new skill, it's not even for the sake of learning it, it's not even for the sake of income because the money's already coming in. You know what it's for? It's to keep reinforcing this belief in self. It's to keep this nine of cups stable and steady. You don't ever want to get rid of this feeling, so you have to keep feeding it. And what do you keep feeding it? Things that boost your self-esteem. Learning new things, traveling alone, going to places you've never been, doing things you've never done, giving yourself challenges, setting high goals for yourself. Now, again, if you work with the concept of anti-fragility, every time you fall in these endeavors or processes, you just get back up and say, okay, well, now I know not to do that. Boom. As you know, in Western astrology, I am a Cancer rising. Maybe if you didn't know, hi. Yesterday, I'm talking to my mom about a little bit of a hiccup I had with something with work. And she says to me, actually, I mean, I can tell you what it is. It's that Vimeo uh, emailed me and said that, um, even though you're on our highest plan, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you're using too much bandwidth, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we're going to have to start charging you a different way, or we don't know what we're going to do. Cause if you want to keep using the services, we're going to basically, we reserve the right to change the rules. <laughs> and I was just like, I didn't skip a beat because that's just not how I am. Okay. Well, I don't even notice the problem because my mind is already on the solutions. So when I talked to my mom, my mom was like, yo, you really don't even take a second to get stressed. Stressed about what? Stressed about what? Why should I get stressed? Now, is it the best thing for them to do? Is that the best way to, I don't know. And you know what? I don't care. I don't have time to judge. I don't care. I need to take care of what's mine. I need to find solutions. So before you're done uh, 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 bullshitting in your email, I've already found a different solution. And my mom's like, wait, you already found somebody else to host yourself? Yes, I did. Okay, so it wasn't even a problem, I, I guess, but not for me. Maybe it would have been a problem, but not for me. Because anything that you're doing, anything that you throw at me is just a learning experience for me. It's just going to make me smarter. It's just going to make me stronger. It's just going to make me better. It's going to make me more streamlined, more efficient. That's anti-fragility. We don't dwell in anything that happens. We move right along to the solution. Later, if you want to feel your feelings, do whatever you got to do, do it. But I guarantee you, if you move right into the solutions, those feelings won't even be there. I promise you, those feelings won't even be there because you don't even give yourself, your physical body, the time to start going through all those chemical processes that are going to cause all that stress that's going to sit in your muscles, sit in your bones, sit in your mind, you know, mess with your hormones. No. No, I'm sorry. You're not doing that to me with one stupid email. I would much rather just find another way to rock. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Now, if, now, if anyone who's dealing with me hears contempt in my voice when I say that, they're misreading it. They're misreading my confidence and my ability to take care of my shit as contempt towards them. No, you're just mad that I'm not more upset about whatever obstacle you're trying to throw in my way. <laughs> you're just mad that this isn't slowing me down. Bye. Okay, maybe that one was a little contemptible. Okay. Market yourself. This is the month starting today. You are the sun. You are shining. You are the beautiful child on the horse. You are the sash up in the air. You are the man on the horse. Victory is yours. You are the man holding the coin. You have the power. You have the looks. 
You have the beauty, you have the magnetism, the vibe. Market yourself. It doesn't matter if you have one product. It doesn't matter if you really don't have a product. Maybe you don't even have a product. Market yourself in any way, every way you can. If there is someone younger than you or someone that needs your help, like I said, someone you need to take in, someone you need to mentor. You see, mentoring, adoption, children, pets, old parents, people of old age that you're taking care of, in a work environment, perhaps there's a coworker who's going through something. It all is the same theme. In August, you are the mom who has, your super mom. You have everything under control and then some to the point where you can help as many people as you want. Oops, I have it written here. Don't be rude or condescending. <laughs> Yikes, we passed that. So don't be rude and condescending when you're thinking of these solutions. <laughs> don't be rude and condescending. Try to keep that to a minimum, okay? The money gets stable, which makes you even happier, even more confident. And then just remember, just remember, just remember, just remember, this success, this contentment is tied to the body. We must move the body, okay? Mental clarity requires movement of the body. You gotta get these emotions out of your muscles. You gotta get this tension out of your bones. You got to work these stress chemicals out of your blood. You got to sweat it out. So this is not about being in shape. This is not about weight. This is not about size. This is not about any of that. It's not even about health. It's not even about physical health. Forget it. This is just, you have found a sweet spot mentally. And if you stay there, you can continue to have all the things that you have ever wanted. So stay there. If that means you need to move your body once a day, and that's what I'm saying, then that's what you do. Woohoo! If you are interested in the extended, where we're going to go through this deck right here, and we're going to clarify how all the other signs are interacting with you in August and into September, then you can check out that extended reading. They're about half an hour long this time around, which I really love. So I've switched up the length of the extendeds, and now we go deep, deep into them. So say you're dealing with a Leo, we're not just going to talk about what it is that's going to happen between that is happening, the dynamic that's happening between you and a Leo. We're also going to talk about the larger, broader concept of what the sun means in your life. So it's not just particular to people. It's also the archetype of it. What is the sun energy bringing into your life? What is it that you need to focus on? Where do you need to channel it best? We do all of that in the extended. It's super dope. So that's available on Vimeo. It's available on Patreon under the Cancer tier or the Cancer plus the ZA tier. Now that, the ZA is where we do our daily walks, the live readings, any lives that we do, all the tea is spilled in those lives. Those lives are on the Cancer plus the ZA tier. Both of those tiers are on Patreon where you get your part one early, part one's been out for a week, part two, this, and your extended all in one place and you just get notified when it's up. Okay? Whoop, whoop, boom goes the dynamite. Remember? So if you're a big guy as a cancer, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, if you're interested in a personal reading, a seven to 10 minute recorded personal reading, you can check out the Cameo link below. And if you are interested in these gorgeous rings, we're, gonna, we're about to do a Gemini ring that's gonna be two stones and it's gonna be so fabulous. The lovers, it will be called. This is the Empress, this is the world. And these are both available at the links below. There's also a Quietest Revolution Rings Instagram link below where you can check out all the ref I'm wearing them. The World Ring has just debuted and they look gorgeous. The photos you guys are sending are amazing. So thank you so much for that. Those, you, those rings you can find at the links below, <clears throat> excuse me, and also on ambercon.com where you will also find links to readings, the rings, events, all the other stuff. Now, if you're interested in a look at the astrological transits of the day and how they affect your sun, moon, and rising, check out at The Quietest Revolution on Insta and come join the Rev Fam and take a look at your daily horoscope. Is there anything else? No, I don't think so. I love you, love you, love you. I'll see you in the extended right now.